Hi, Circle Room families. This activity here is called the marble paints. Uh, I obviously don't have any marbles at my home, but I did manage to find a couple of balls that were were here in my uh, in my house. Um, you'll need a spoon, a little bit of dish soap, some paint, a container, kind of like this, or if not, you can even take like a a cardboard box that you get in the mail and then cut it out. And then you'll need a sheet of white paper, place it inside your container, and then we'll have to mix our colors in. All right, go ahead and add a little bit of dish soap in one plate. More, more, let's see, that's good. All right, add some dish soap here. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and add some paint. I'm going to go ahead and pick yellow for this one here. Add some yellow in there. And I'm going to go ahead and grab some blue and add some blue here. And then with, with our ball here, we can kind of mix that around just a little bit. You might get paint on your clothes and whatnot, but the dish soap helps. Um, it's going to help later with getting the paint off your clothes. So that's why we want to add it on there. Um, and then do the same with the with the yellow, kind of get it all over there. Then you mix that ball in. If you have smaller containers than these giant plates that I used, that'd probably be best. All right, once you got all your paint, um, once you got your paint ready to go, then you can go ahead and grab, ask your kid to grab their spoon. In this case, I'm asking my daughter, Rihanna, come and help me. I'm gonna ask her to scoop out the yellow ball She's never done this before, so it's gonna be her first time doing this also. Give me the bowl, give me the spoon, and now pick up the container, Rihanna, and then move it side to side, back and forth. Let the ball roll in there, really let it roll. Back and forth. And it looks like we're, we're out of paint, so why don't you go ahead and take that ball out of there. You can use your hands and put it back inside the, the bowl. Great. And now go ahead and let's uh, scoop this one out. And it's okay. If you want to use two different spoons, then you can. If you want to use the same spoon, you also can as well. So go ahead and scoop that ball out. Yep, and dump it in there. And put the spoon back. Same thing, Rihanna, back and forth. Kind of move it around. And then as you start to mix back and forth, you can kind of see some of those colors start to change. What colors do you see? Let me get closer. Look at that. You could add more balls to it if you guys have more balls at home. I, I, I was only able to find two at my house to make this work. So it's a really fun activity. And then afterwards, you can go ahead and stop, Rihanna. Put it down. Let's take the ball out, put it back in its bowl. Can you pull the paper out? Show it to us. And this here is what we call marble art. Or in this case, plastic ball art. Hope this helps. You can place this on the drying rack. Make sure you kind of add a little paper weight on top of it so it doesn't fly away. And once it's dry, then it's good to go and you can display it anywhere in your household. And it's really nice and beautiful.